Well, inserting yourself into clips from famous movies may be a fun trick on social media, but cybersecurity experts and governments say the proliferation of so-called deep fakes is making it harder to fight disinformation online. Paolo Montesilio goes on a deep dive into this emerging risk and a Turkish firm's crusade to ensure people can still believe what they see. Um. Imagine a billionaire crashing a Zoom call. Uh, I, Elon Musk? <laughs> yes, uh, it looks like I got into the wrong conference in Zoom. Or a world leader cussing out a political rival. President Trump is a total and complete. These, of course, are counterfeit clips known as deepfakes. It's a form of digital puppeteering powered by artificial intelligence. While its applications can be fun, Turkish cybersecurity firm Zemana says the risks are no laughing matter. Creating a digital twin, a digital copy of yours, in terms of imitating your face, your head, your voice, and even your body, so that I may have a model of yours to, to be used uh, over and over in order to make uh, you uh, say something that you have never said or act in scenes that you have never been. Deep fakes are extremely easy to make. I made these at home using my cell phone, and it took about 30 seconds for each one. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. And I will destroy any man who tries to take what I got. With better software and more powerful computers, it's possible to create manipulated videos that are harder to spot. And when the intent goes from hilarious to nefarious, the consequences can be scary. There's the case of a British energy firm that was swindled out of $240,000 in 2019. Hackers used a deep fake of the company's CEO to instruct a subordinate to make an urgent money transfer to a mysterious account. Zemana says the amount of damage criminals can inflict is only limited by their creativity. Think of a minister saying uh, 2% and you can even change it to 20% or 200% in any rate, in any parameter of economy. Think of the stock exchange in the seas in that moment. Stopping deepfakes will be hard, given constant improvements in technology and the amount of content publicly available on the internet. According to Zemana, a single, low-resolution photo from Facebook or Instagram can be used to create a fake. The company is one of about a dozen firms around the world working on software to protect businesses and governments. This is the concept we should somehow prevent as a cyber threat before it will have a snowball effect. Zimana says its technology would certify original, undoctored content as authentic. It would also help detect deepfakes so they can be tagged and taken down. That way, the public can be confident that what it sees online is the real thing. Paolo Montesilio, TRT World, Istanbul.